Je ne suis pas politicien. Je n'ai pas de langue de bois. I am not a politician and I don't beat around the bush. Je préfère vous dire la vérité. I am a soldier and I prefer to tell you the truth. Chacun est libre de prendre ou de laisser. Everyone is free to take it or leave it. Everyone drives their car, everyone lives well. We eat in the morning, we eat in the afternoon and evening, and we do whatever we want to do. We are free to speak, to say what we want. This is democracy, this is the law, that's all. That's all we know in Ouagadougou. But go and see them, the children who are skin and bones. Go see those who are starving. Go see those women who can no longer breastfeed because they have nothing left in their breasts. Go see them. Let's not pretend. If our journalists don't have the courage to go out in the field and bring back these images, it's because we want to whitewash Burkina's image. I'm telling you, it's false. It exists. When I tell you about people who eat grass, those who want to contest, I will take them to see it continues. It hasn't even stopped because we have managed to supply some villages, but others not yet. We are still on the way. No civilian can even support us with trucks, so we can show solidarity with these populations. What kind of integrity is this? What is integrity, Burkina Faso? What is it? This lack of support has deeply unsettled and revolted us. Until we truly address the core issues plaguing this country, we will remain in a state of unrest and discontent. For the moment, We've managed to secure some trucks in the army and have been using our own means to transport supplies. However, this hasn't really added much to the support for the starving populations. And even in doing this, there's been a distinct lack of empathy. The citizens were aware of the situation, but they've remained on the sidelines. This is to say that solidarity has disappeared in Burkina. Have pity for the people. Have pity for the youth. Have pity for the children. What have these villagers done so that when the sun sets, they find themselves in caves and under trees? They leave village after village, and in the morning they come back to see if everything is okay before returning. They sleep in the bush they cannot sleep in their homes. We don't tell you these truths. This is the reality of Burkina. We only see our cities. We are responsible for what happens to us, and we will be fully responsible for what will follow, whether it is good or bad. It will depend on our behavior in the future. Everyone gives their best. And I think we can get there. I am optimistic. I have faith. And it will happen. Okay, let's put it this way. Consider you were present here while Captain Ibrahim was doing this speech. Tell me, how wouldn't you be touched when someone talks to you in such a manner? When someone actually outlines important things concerning humanity? This goes to show how this guy cares about his people. I mean, the ordinary person on the street even. You know, one, 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 one very important thing that I noticed, and I have been noticing every time Captain Ibrahim Traore speaks, is the fact that it doesn't actually matter. Anybody who is present always pays close attention to what this young man is saying. It's just been natural. This guy has some sort of aura that is so very powerful. I don't know, even myself, if I was there, I'd be very, very attentive. This guy, this is how a true leader is supposed to be like. Yeah, he is military, but he's not a dictator. This is how a true leader sounds like, and this is how a true leader speaks to his people. Um, aside from the way he talks, I really wonder, like, how many African leaders actually do what this guy is doing? I don't even want to go into all the things that he has been doing, but this particular aspect whereby he actually looks into the lives of the ordinary person on the street. Like, this guy cares. Many other African leaders, they really don't care about these things. In as much as their circle of friends or people that they are close to are fine, they don't care. Whatever happens at the level of, like, we have the um, upper class, we have the middle class, and we have the lower class. 
whatever happens with the lower class they really don't care like that and even if they act as if they do you just see that they are pretending it's not genuine but listening to this guy address these people talking about the ordinary person you can feel the passion in his voice you really can feel that he has this heart for his people i i, I cannot come and lie here a vast majority of africans are living in poverty but our leaders don't see that not like they don't see that our leaders don't care listen to this he said this means that solidarity has disappeared in burkina faso have pity for the people have pity for the children those are the words of an african leader like how many of these other I'll call them puppets. How many of these other puppets actually do that? How many of them actually talk about these kind of things? They are more concerned with things that, according to them, are important. But let's not forget, your people are the most important. You see, um, I wouldn't want to call names, but there are so many countries here in Africa that, in as much as the capital city, and a couple of other cities are okay, then it is considered that the country is entirely okay. Whatever happens in the suburbs isn't their concern at all. In the sense that, make it make sense. Let's take for example, you give out a contract for a development project, and then you don't care to follow up to see what exactly people are doing are they actually doing the right things? Are they using the right material? Is this thing they are doing going to last? Let's take, for example, the construction of roads. Are they doing the last thing? Is, is this road going to serve the population in the next 10, 15 to 20 years? If they are building a, a, a facility or a, a building or something, that is going to serve the population. Do they actually follow up to see that it's going to actually help the people in the long run? They don't. They don't follow up. And that is one very big problem that we face here in Africa, in as much as our leaders are concerned. There's this carefree attitude. Um, changes need to be made. Like, great changes need to be made. So, um, in all honesty, Captain Ibrahim Traore and his compatriots of the um, Alliance of Sahel States Nations really are a beacon of hope for Africa. The African youths really are hoping on these guys to bring change into the entire continent. And we really pray that other leaders are going to copy what these guys are doing. Like, we deserve better. We have everything. At least the, Af the average African doesn't have to suffer. Thanks so very much for watching. And this video right here is going to show you some impressive things that this young president has been doing in Burkina Faso. Consider checking it out. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I don't know if I said that already. But please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like this video. And consider sharing this video with friends and family. Or other forums that might find this video useful. Thank you so very much. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.